It's the most used building material on Earth. It was the building block of the Roman Empire. Today, it's the material for a new generation of gravity-defying skyscrapers. The raw ingredients that create this magic formula can be found in nearly every country on Earth. It starts out like liquid. When it dries, it becomes stone hard. This amazing metamorphosis has earned concrete the nickname liquid rock. It has served as a cornerstone of engineering for centuries. And it's a highly prized tool of construction for a reason. Concrete is everywhere. It has an almost unlimited engineering potential. It can take on nearly any shape and forms the backbone of a variety of the world's construction. Super highways, massive bridges, man-made waterways, mega dams, the world's tallest skyscrapers. This miracle material begs the question, how does it do it all? The basic formula for concrete is simple. Sand, crushed rock, called aggregate, water, and the heart of the concrete mix, cement. Cement, uh, it is the gray powdery material that acts as a glue that sticks all of the concrete together. It covers and coats all of the gravel, the sand, and the rock as a way of gluing and binding the whole material together. To make cement, you need limestone, clay, and other elements like iron. These ingredients are crushed and combined into a powder that's poured into a kiln. The massive cylindrical spinning kilns heat the mixture to a temperature as high as 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. The mixture becomes partially molten, forming a new marble-sized component called a clinker. Once cooled, machines grind clinker into a superfine powder we know as cement. Cement binds the ingredients together. When added to sand, water, and crushed rock, the cement reacts, linking the raw elements into one powerful whole. Water is the key. When cement reacts to the water, it undergoes a transformation called hydration. During this reaction, a node forms on the surface of each cement particle. The node grows and expands, linking up with other nodes. It sticks to the crushed rock and sand in the mix. Cement binds these ingredients. As it solidifies, concrete becomes a building block of modern construction. The water actually allows a chemical reaction in the cement to allow it to harden. Uh, people often think that concrete hardens by drying. It actually hardens by hydrating or getting more wet. The water in the cement uh, mixes uh, with a lot of the minerals and chemicals that are in the cement, and by that mixture forms a new compound which then hardens. This basic process hasn't changed in over a century. New developments in concrete technology now allow for what used to be unthinkable for the last hundred years, architects and builders have sought a way to allow light into concrete buildings, homes, and offices in a more efficient manner. One of concrete's biggest drawbacks is that it creates dark buildings that do not effectively conduct light. Experts are working to change this. Okay, this is a piece of lytrocon, light transmitting concrete. It seems like an odd concept, but what they've done here is to take standard concrete and add glass fibers. Okay, so what you're seeing here is uh, the blue LED passing through the glass fibers that are embedded in the concrete. Imagine concrete allowing light to pass right through it, or for someone to cast a shadow through a concrete block. The same thing can happen with normal daylight as well. So the idea is that you can build a structure with this concrete and allow daylight to actually come through the structural element of the concrete. Light transmitting concrete, or lytricon, is a unique form of concrete that uses glass fibers to conduct light. It allows for massive structures to permit light to shine through. This technology has the potential to redefine 